Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burkwest. Today we're going to talk about Minnesota Vikings again because we love talking about our Vikings with the year that they're having. This is so much fun. But I got to know, is it too early to start talking Super Bowl? We're all Minnesota fans. When can we start talking about that? Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy that this is the conversation we're having at this point of the year, considering everything that's happened. As Minnesota fans, uh, we are ingrained to think, when will the shoe drop? Don't get your hopes up. Uh, not just Vikings, but, but any of the Minnesota sports that we see. Don't get your hopes up. Something's going to happen. The shoe's going to drop. Blair's going to miss a field goal. Favre's going to throw an interception. Something like that. And so you don't want to get your hopes too high. But at this point, I don't know how you can't start using the word Super Bowl with this team. Uh, there's nothing else that this team has to prove at this point. Uh, winning tough road games, winning on offense, winning on defense, beating hot teams, and just continually proving that every team they play, they're the better team in the class of the NFC. The Vikings have beat an extremely hot Rams team when they came into town, beat uh, the defending NFC champs and a hot Falcons on the road, going on the road and beating Detroit on Thanksgiving, beating a, a decent uh, Washington team on the road who, who tends to be tough to beat there, uh, winning that way. And I just think with this defense, the way this offense is playing, it, it's time that we can start looking towards the Super Bowl and start maybe getting our hopes up a little bit. You're right. We should be able to talk Super Bowl. We should be able to get excited. We should be able to start, you know, looking at ticket prices or whatever, at least get excited about this team. And, and I'm okay to get excited and I'm gonna enjoy the ride and I'm gonna enjoy every win and it's fun. I was thinking I was a little disappointed that I wasn't in Minnesota during this year because I would be, I, I love seeing, Quite honestly, I love when the bandwagon fans come out. I love seeing purple all around the Twin Cities, but literally when this team is hot, Vikings fans come out of everywhere. I remember 98, I remember 2009. It's so cool to see purple everywhere. And so I was a little disappointed, but I've been wearing my Viking stuff out, out in San Diego a little bit more, and it's kind of fun running into other Vikings fans. We were walking um, at, the, at the park the other day, and I hear somebody yell skull from like on the other side of the park. And I was like, yeah, all right. Like it was cool to like kind of get the excitement going a little bit with Vikings fans here in town. I've had at Chipotle, the guy was like, hey, yeah, nice win, you know? So it's been kind of fun. It, this is a fun season. I'm going to enjoy this season. I'm not going to worry about Super Bowl. I'm not going to think about the Super Bowl, quite honestly. Um, I don't know if it's superstition or I've just been disappointed. I remember that 98 season when I knew for sure we we're going to Miami. No one could beat us. I remember 2009 when I thought everything had just aligned, the perfect story, Brett Favre coming across, winning for the good guys. I, I remember that so much that I just want to enjoy this season. But when I think about it, man, like, you know, what could happen? I, I don't, don't want to start talking about what could happen, but like, like you said, you said before, even if, even if Case regresses to the mean or has an injury on your starting quarterback, we bring in Teddy Bridgewater, who is another very capable quarterback. You can argue about where his ceiling is, but he's definitely capable to win with this team that we have. And we already lost our starting running back. And because of the line and the guys that we have behind him, we've done okay still. It's not like there's this great dynasty that we have to overthrow. The NFC, as good as it is, is still pretty open. And this is a team that can, I will say this, make some noise in the playoffs. That's as far as I'll go right now. I'm not gonna talk about Super Bowl. Time to get your hopes up. I just don't think at this point the team has anything else to prove that, that it's a legitimate Super Bowl contender. The class of the NFC has all been beaten already by the Minnesota Vikings minus the Philadelphia Eagles, and that's just because we haven't played. You know, this, this defense is one of the best in the league, if not the best, and has a chance to possibly be historically great, shutting down great offenses. And nobody is beating us at US Bank Stadium. I can tell you that nobody will beat us there. Going to Philadelphia would be a, a tougher task, but nobody's beating us at US Bank Stadium. It's gonna be a fun ride. I'm excited to, to see where this team takes us. Maybe the stars have finally aligned. We get to play in our home Super Bowl, uh, and that's how Minnesota gets their first championship. All right, I, I'm not gonna say it, but I agree with everything you said. And quite honestly, I will say this is the best, most complete Vikings team I've ever seen in my lifetime, including 98, including 2009. This entire team, is as good as it as I've ever seen, and this defense, quite honestly, can stop anybody. So, wanna know what you guys think. Are you afraid to talk Super Bowl, or is it too early? Or are you guys already talking about Super Bowl for your Minnesota Vikings? Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. See ya.